So far, Pokemon has been a pretty tried and true method, right? You make a game that has so many gyms, you have a pretty straightforward battle system, one you've been using for quite a while, and then it sells 15 million, you move on to the next one, you increase the library of Pokemon, and you keep on moving. And it's worked pretty well for the Pokemon company, Game Freak, Creatures Inc., Nintendo, it's worked very well. In fact, that's the biggest thing I think that helped them win every time in the handheld war against Sony was the fact that, where's Pokemon? It's on Nintendo's DS, it's on the 3DS, on the Game Boy Advance. Well, I guess we're buying that because we want to play Pokemon. But now that Pokemon is finally moving to a home console, it's first time moving the mainline series. Lots of spinoffs have been there, but a mainline series has people wondering, what is it going to look like? And so far, we haven't had any information at all, and the most we're getting right now are rumors. So we're gonna take a look at a rumor that has come out today, and it's kind of interesting because it touches on probably the most sensitive part about Pokemon to a lot of the veteran players out there, and that's the battle system. So this entire rumor comes from Pokejungle.com. Net. And they talk about this particular source being correct about the Rainbow Rocket in, well, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They talked about it before it was announced, and then it's announced, and it looks like they at least had some kind of insider knowledge for this part of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They also talked about different things with starters, with Sun and Moon, things like that. So they at least have been credible in the past. I'm sure they've probably also got stuff wrong in the past, too. So... Take all of this with a grain of salt, of course, but some of it sounds realistic, and based on some of the other, really, the other points of discussion and rumors we've seen, this might actually add up and hold some water. So here are the big bullet points. You can check all of this out as well at pokejungle.net. I'm gonna leave a link to this entire article by them where they talk about all of these rumors. The first one being the Chinese localization team has already finished translating the game script. Great. There will be no new mega evolutions introduced in the new games. Uh, Z moves return and now use motion control to activate using the Joy-Con controllers. Of course, we have to use motion controls. Hopefully there's a way to turn that off and just use like a button combination or something. Uh, central plot revolves around the conflict between tradition and innovation. And then the region inspiration has been rumored to be Spain or Italy. And the release is coming late 2018 or early 2019. I'm still kind of on the, the side of, I think this is going to show up in 2018. I think it'll be a big holiday pushing really, really game at this point to help push these systems along. Going from there, the final thing that they are reporting that is really, really annoying a lot of veterans and has people split on this because there's two different ways to look at it. And we're going to go over both. And that is that the battle system could be changing from a really a sit there, wait, pick all of your different attacks and then everything happens to a real time battle system. They've even used the specific words as a new simplified battle system. According to them, they're even comparing it to something like Digimon World. I remember playing Digimon World, the first, second, and the third one, I think. I don't think I really got into it on the PS2. I think it was also on the Xbox, but I mostly played those because I, I that's when Digimon and Pokemon were really at their height of popularity. I know you're like, oh, Digimon. It was very popular at the time, but it was kind of a, you have your Pokemon, it was real time, and you would tell them when to block, when to attack. And if they take something like that and kind of build on it to where I think it could be better than that, but they could build on it. I mean, they even talk about something like Pokin Tournament, for example, where it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors where you have attack, throw, and, or you have attack, grab, and block. They could possibly turn this into something that is completely different from what we see now with Pokemon. And this is where it gets either very good for you or very bad for you. Now, if you're part of the traditional, really the traditional competitive scene with Pokemon, you are probably not happy with this. Because there are a lot of people that I have seen on Twitter, on forum threads, everything, they're like, if they change the battle system, I I'm not buying it, I can't do it. And I think that's kind of a short-sighted way to look at it, because on the opposite side, I'm sure they might even be bored of doing this all the time. Sure, it makes a lot of money, sell a lot of copies, but there is also a possibility that internally they might not be happy making it, and maybe Nintendo's not even uh, that interested in moving the same old thing from the 3DS to the Switch. To go from handheld to home console, they might want to play around with a little bit and make it feel different from the 3DS version, from the DS version, from the Game Boy Advance version, from the Game Boy. See what I'm talking about? It's pretty much been the same type of battle system for a long time. You buy Pokemon, you know how you're gonna, how these battles are gonna play out, or at least how you're going to fight other Pokemon. I kind of like the idea of them trying something new, only because it would be so interesting to see how they would tackle it. Again, 
I'm sure you might be on the side of, nope, I need, I need to be straight up turn-based, nothing else. And that's fine too, because if you're a very competitive Pokemon, this could throw your entire normal strategy completely out the window. I mean, it could make it way different. The competitive scene could pretty much change in a year just because of a brand new game on the Switch. Sure, people would still play the older versions, but I kind of like this idea. And while this is still just rumors, it kind of lines up with what Easy Ally said on their podcast. Again, another rumor that they've heard internally. But we heard about how uh, people from Game Freak were interested in doing something different. And then we heard about how there possibly was a Pokemon Stars at some point, And it was just going to be like an up version of like Sun and Moon moved over to the Switch. But they decided apparently to hold off on that and make sure they are doing something new and innovative. Even going as far from what e Easy Ally said is uh, looking at something like Zelda and Mario and seeing how innovative it was and that, hey, they got, it was a great reception from them, from the public. I mean, Zelda gets game of the year. Mario is nominated alongside of it. Might have actually won if Zelda wasn't there. And they went pretty, really, dra Zelda in particular went, went very different from some of the more recent ones. Sure, a lot of people will say it's very similar to the original Zelda, but nothing is like Breath of the Wild. I mean, let's just get that straight across the board. Destructible weapons, um, it does, uh, just massive open world that you can do anything. You climb mountains. We've never seen that before. And it was so different that, uh, well, they took a chance. So is this the time now where Game Freak and the Pokemon Company and Nintendo and Creatures Inc. all said, let's do it. Let's do something so different that it could either really make this, this amazing game or maybe it could mess them up and they have to go back to square one following up. Listen, people are going to buy Pokemon no matter what. If it is the next mainline series and has Pokemon branded on it, yeah, people are going to buy it. Will it sell 15 million? Maybe? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to say because the Switch is selling so well and people are hungry for Pokemon on the Switch. Yeah, it probably will still sell well even if they mess with the battle system. People who are really hardcore into Pokemon, they probably will eventually break and buy it as well. I mean, let's just be realistic here. If people are playing it, there is a competitive scene that starts up. Maybe if you don't, even if you don't like the battle system, you might still buy it just to trade Pokemon back and forth and check out the battle system. Maybe you don't buy the next years because you don't like that that one at all, but they'll still probably get your money at least the first time. But at this point, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Seriously, would, is this great? Would you prefer that these rumors be accurate and then we get a new battle system, or do you want them to stick uh, pretty much to the straight-up formula that they've used for a while now, keep the battle system turn-based, look to innovate in other ways, whether they try to go more of a big open world, maybe they try to bring in an online community where it's kind of like a, a massive multiplayer-style Pokemon game, or maybe you just want them to do something with the visuals and make it look really nice. Let me know, guys. I need to know. And also, I guess, do you think it's coming out in 2018? Like, these rumors also say it could be a late 20 2018 or early 2019 title. I feel like they want to get it out for the holidays, but, I mean, if they're looking to be this innovative, who, who knows at this point? Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning for Newswave.